Hello and welcome to the Fort Report. I'm Alicia Woodruff. And I'm Chris Conlon. The City of Fort Worth is committed to fair housing opportunities for all people. That's why we're observing April as Fair Housing Month. The Fair Housing Act was adopted 43 years ago and today both federal and state fair housing laws prohibit discrimination in housing from housing providers, real estate agents, landlords, appraisers, and others. For more information about the city's anti-discrimination ordinance or to report a possible violation, call 817-392-7525 or visit fortworthgov.org forward slash human relations. Spring has definitely sprung in Cowtown. Blue bonnets are on I-30, the zoo is insanely crowded, and it's time for Prairie Fest at Tandy Hills. Yes, in celebration of all things related to Laura Ingalls. No. Prairie Fest is actually a family-friendly day in the wildflower decorated acres of the Tandy Hills Natural Area. It hosts a collection of eco-minded vendors to help folks live a more earth-friendly life. There's also live music. Last year's Prairie Fest was voted Best Outdoor Culture Event of 2010. Hmm. Will there be hippies? The 60s are over, but there will be green-minded individuals dedicated to preserving our planet. I've noticed some hippies smell funny. Chris, being eco-friendly doesn't mean you're less hygienic. By the way, you smell funny. See it, Burning Man hippies. Let's roll one more Little House clip. I hope you're not angry. What was the purpose of that? It's called a segue. It's come to my attention that Councilmember Kathleen Hicks, along with some city staff and volunteers, found some weird looking stuff in the muddy creeks and fields of Cobb Park. <laughs> Not sure why they were rummaging around in the forest. Actually, they were taking part in a recent and very successful Cowtown cleanup. That's good to hear, but what they found was anything but good. Love letter. Vacuum cleaner hose. High school musical blanket, keeping that. Half-eaten peanut butter sandwich. What does all this mean? First of all, it means some people aren't showing respect for their city. We've all seen it. Litter can be found in every part of any big city, but it needs to stop. And it starts with us. It starts with you. Also, it means more citizens should take advantage of the three drop-off stations in the city. You can find the locations of these stations on the city's website or by calling 817-392-EASY. The city always encourages continuous cleanup efforts and will give free trash bags to groups wanting to stay involved and keep Fort Worth beautiful. With that, this ends this week's Fort Report. I'm Alicia Woodruff. Chris Connolly.